What's up guys, and welcome to a project that I have been debating on whether to do for quite some time now. And this is a Washington Wizards MyGM and NBA 2K15 finally decided, you know what, screw it, this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's try it, let's give it a shot, let's see how it goes. So, Washington Wizards are one of my favorite teams coming up in the NBA. I think John Wall is a great player, I'm really excited to see his development, and hopefully I will see a little bit of that just within the game itself as we progress on into time. I also wanted to be the Wizards because they're in the East, so they are probably going to be a perennial playoff team moving forward. And there's a lot of excitement there surrounding bringing some good basketball back to Washington after there's been a lot of very, very down years and really no success at all since kind of the early 2000s when they were making the playoffs year after year. So I wanted to limit myself to only one trade. For the most part, I want to keep the roster fairly intact. The main player that I wanted to trade away but did not eventually end up doing it was Andre Miller. I can't stand Andre Miller in this game or really in the NBA 2K game because he can't shoot and he's slow. So he's just awful to play with as a point guard. So he is absolutely not going to be my backup point guard. John Wall is obviously going to be the starter. However, there weren't any good looking trades for him. However, I did find an extremely good looking trade for two players that I'm probably not going to be utilizing very much, and this is Glenn Rice Jr., who's just a low overall and probably won't develop for a long time, and Chris Humphreys, who's a solid backup big, but is getting paid quite a bit for the little that he brings to the table. And I gotta keep coming back to this Grizzlies offer here. They're offering me a first round pick, as well as Vince Carter, who even though he's old and probably will retire, as soon as his contract is up, is still a very solid player for the meantime, and I don't plan on this to go more than just a couple of seasons. So for the most part, having Vince Carter on the team is going to be a really nice pickup, as well as the 2017 Grizzlies first round draft pick. One of the owner goals was to trade for a draft pick. However, that was a 2017 draft pick and not a 2015 draft pick. So I may do a trade just in terms of picks, not in terms of players. So I can pick up a 2015 one to, you know, complete that owner goal. I might do that. I might just let it slide. We'll see. As long as the team is having a fair amount of success, and I think we will, looking at this roster, it should be fine. This is my minutes rotation. I typically like to go with a 10-man rotation with uh, five starters and then five backups playing the same positions as the starters. And here we go into free agency and sign our backup point guard to replace Andre Miller, which is Jordan Crawford. Jordan Crawford is coming back to the Wizards after spending the first couple years of his career here. Not really working out because Jordan Crawford at the time was playing the off guard position using the starting lineup and he was kind of a shoot at will type of player. So he only wants a one year deal which is completely fine so he'll be off the books at the end of this year in case his overall starts to go down if he doesn't develop as a player and if he turns out to be a pretty good player then we might decide to re-sign him. I ended up signing him to a four and a half million dollar deal over the course of a year and he agreed with that eventually initially he wanted over five million but we want to save a little bit of expenses even though free agency isn't coming out for a long time and his contract will run out before free agency hits. So here I'm just inserting Jordan Crawford into the backups, and I initially put him at 13 minutes, however he's probably going to be playing a little bit more than that in the future because he is a very good st scorer, and we don't really have any scores other than Crawford off the bench who can create their own shot. So when Wall and Beal are sitting on the bench, we really need someone who can create that offense if our plays start to break down and nothing really works. So I go here into the team training, and I mostly want to focus on offensive consistency and just offensive stuff such as attacking the basket. Unfortunately in this game, defense isn't really a priority, and your defensive ratings don't make a humongous difference in terms of how well your players perform on that end of the court. So you mostly want to focus on offense, especially attacking the basket with a talent like John Wall, who is very adept at getting to the basket and slamming down. He's an extremely, extremely athletic point guard and an absolute joy to play with. He can just eat some of those less athletic or smaller point guards for breakfast and create incredible matchup problems. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a actual legit draft class, so we're kind of just working with computer-generated rookies here because the actual draft classes were not loading for me so I was not able to get one of those unfortunately I've had a lot of internet issues lately that might be a part of it just looking at our picks here the only pick that we have other than our own is that Grizzlies pick we traded for everything else is our own so we'll probably have to at least swap picks with someone to get a first round and complete that owner goal but that's about all for the intro to this my GM I should be out with the first game tomorrow peace